Yeah, so um, I just did the Seattle to Portland 206 mile bike ride over the, this past weekend. Today is Tuesday. So I did I did the two day format and um it was bar none the funnest bicycle event I've ever done and I'm glad I heard about it nine years ago from my cousin in Seattle so he kind of did the pre-inception into my mind about wanting to do it and um definitely i'm glad i waited because 206 miles is a serious serious distance i'm retired from local bike racing did all the events I wanted to do to the best of my ability in my uh, late 20s and 30s and um, that really helped me be able to have the endurance to do STP um, we did the two-day format because um we didn't want to torture ourselves with a one day format especially when we didn't know the course or the route or the weather so the two day format was good we stayed at centralia college dormitory it was fun i uh, went there with two friends from Elo beach and it was good, no crashes, no flats, no nothing bad, no mechanicals or anything bad like that. So, it was really good, 206 miles. What did I see? I saw a lot of open road, a lot of really, really nice bike paths, very minimal potholes couple cracked roads potholes on day one leaving Seattle but for the most part it was a nice smooth path nice smooth road um, I would definitely do it again and so some secrets to why or how I made it more comfortable comfortable was um was when I flew in last week there was a heat wave in Portland and so it was a hundred and 101 degrees and um, so I was hot just standing around walking to the mall uh, doing some shopping sightseeing but then after that I mean I was sweating a lot just walking around nothing intense we did about 6,000 steps in the heat. Forgot whether we parked the car, so had my wife and son stay in the mall, cool down while I grabbed the rental car, made it back to them. Everyone was safe. Um, but that was basically heat training for me for when times got hot. And then fast forward to the day before STP, uh, we 
we drove to Seattle and we drove to Seattle and uh, we went to Golden Garden uh, beachfront and it was a nice beach but I noticed there was only one older guy swimming who looked kind of like Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z and two two guys from Africa and so um, they weren't swimming fast or anything but they were tolerating the water I touched the water it was the some of the coldest ocean I had ever felt it was the Pacific Ocean but it was also the Pacific Northwest so it was really cold my guesstimation it was 35 degrees ish and um, so I asked the Master Roshi guy, like, how do you tolerate this cold? And he said, oh, well, dip your body quarter at a time, starting from knee height, and then warming up on the sand. And then when you feel warm enough, come back in and go hip height. Um, and then when that gets too much, go dry off on the sand again, so on and so forth until you can fully submerge yourself. And I did that and stayed in the water for about half an hour total. So that gave me extreme cold tolerance, which was good, especially race morning, ride morning. It was colder in the 50 degree mark, 50 de degree Fahrenheit mark which is super cold for Oahu people but I felt I felt fine and so that made the ride really more tolerable especially when times got cold or really hot I experienced both really hot and really cold the week of the ride so that made me ride super well probably the best I ever did on a hundred mile plus ride and I would definitely do that method again um, so that's what I did to prepare my body for the climates I would go through on the 206 miles bike ride for the STP hopefully video coming soon um, trying to get some stuff off of um damaged sd card off my gopro so i got some video footage on this camera and kind of looking away from the screen to kind of give a different angle all right did you do the stp 2024 post down below how was your stp and are you going to do it again i think i will i'm not sure what year but I definitely wanted to do it again it was super fun only part we did not like we all we all agreed um, me and my two friends from Hawaii we did not like the jungle part bike path on day that the towards the end of day one around mile 75 uh, too too many root bumps on on the pavement and it was kind of dark and eerie with the trees covering the bike path so you couldn't really see the bike path too well and it was kind of just long and monotonous because there wasn't enough change of scenery in that bike path area we call it the evil jungle curry all right that's the end that's the end of this this um Recap, STP, Seattle to Portland 2024, done. Peace out.